<sighs> That's it. I give up. <laughs> friends of the under... I mean, I mean, friends of Bellabog! The champion of the 1,761st Fighting King Challenge! 30 tournaments, 28 victories! The Boulder King of Fists, Luca! <sighs> Looks like it's over already. Hey, Zila! And, uh, you are? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to introduce her. This is the Trailblazer. You must have heard of her before. Are you here just to see my fight? <laughs> I'm flattered. I just want a little fight in a cage. What you did was much bigger than that. We... Luca! 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 Ugh, the crowd never gets tired, do they? Do you want to head outside? It's a bit loud for talking in here. See you next time, everyone! There are sparks yet to fly! Ugh, finally. I think we lost them. Let's chat here. You're popular as ever, champion. Oh, are you still angry at me over that one time, Zila? I just got a bit carried away. Of course not. Two senior members of Wildfire duking it out in the Fight Club? That would be bad form. The mood was on fire that day, but the final match was over in just a few swings. Everyone wanted more. So in the heat of the moment, I just... Oh, come on. Don't hold that against me, Zila. I've always been impressed by you. I've wanted to spar with you for ages. Ugh, I don't fight for fun. Stop getting your hopes up. Anyway, now that you've dragged us out here, what did you want to talk about? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, so I'm trying to get a plan going. Yes, more accurately, my personal training plan. I want you to join me in witnessing the next steps in the development of Luca. The Boulder Town Fighting Champion! Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Chief Oleg wanted us to come and cheer for you. He didn't say anything about becoming your sparring partners. <sighs> we haven't got the time. <laughs> you can't hide anything on that face of yours. Oleg already told me that things in the underworld are pretty peaceful now. And even wildfires running out of things to do. Besides, look at this gal! You want in, right? I knew it! Ugh, there's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine, since she agreed, count me in too. Great, that's settled then. The training is on Svarog's turf. I heard about your achievements. You probably know that place like the back of your hand, right? Just let me know when you're ready, and we can head over together. I have a bad feeling about this. Luca always does things on the spur of the moment. Uh, maybe he's on a victory high? Or maybe not. Either way, it's classic Luca. Still, when it comes to fighting on the front lines, you can put your life in his hands. There's a dozen of us in Wildfire who are still in his debt, not to mention ordinary underworlders. Ugh. That's a story for another day. I have no idea what he's up to this time. We'll just have to wait and see. This is Svarog's turf. Where to now? Don't worry, just follow me. We need to find a mechanic called Casty first. I've hit him up before. This way.
Luca, you're finally here. I've been waiting for you for ages. Relax, bro. I'm a man of my word. I need to stress out. And these two are... <gasps> oh! Miss Sila! Oh. <clears throat> to, to think that two senior Wildfire members are uh, concerned with my trivial problems. They just came along to help. Don't mind them. Just tell us exactly what happened. Came along to help, huh? Oh, okay. This may sound strange, but I'm an amateur mechanic. I, I like collecting scrap in my free time, doing odd jobs, like putting robots together, that sort of thing. B but a few days ago, two of my robots suddenly disappeared. They were my pride and joy. I, I usually leave them in the tent when I head out. E everyone in the settlement knows each other. This has never happened before. S someone must have set their sights on my robots and stolen them while I was gone. I, I just don't know how they managed it. Did they change the programming? Oh, but that's not possible. Hey, stop kidding around. Can't you tell I have a serious problem on my hands? I see. Two robots. Do you have any clues? Any reasonable guesses? We need to have an opening to start the investigation. Not really. But here's the most mysterious part of all this. One of the machines they stole was a drone. I call it Little Faye. Little Faye has an alarm that buzzes non-stop as soon as any unauthorized people get close. It's guaranteed to wake up the entire settlement. But I didn't hear Little Faye's alarm at all. I still can't figure out how that happened. No way. Little Faye was ship -shape, not a hitch nor glitch in sight. Huh. A drone that was supposed to sound an alarm suddenly went silent. Worth remembering. Anything else? Let me think. Oh! There is one other thing, but I don't know if it's useful. Little Faye also has a tracker. If it gets too far from Big Ben... Oh, uh, Big Ben is the name of the other robot. If there's too much distance between them, Little Faye will automatically start routing and fly to Big Ben's location. Uh, that's all, I suppose. I tried to find clues myself, but I don't know where to start. This job needs real professionals. Mm-hmm. Cool, we've got this. Don't worry, bro. We promise we'll find your robots. Hey, how can you be so sure? Trust me, Zila. Don't worry, Cassidy. Wildfire's on the case. You just rest up here and don't let this ruin your day. What was that all about? You're 100% certain we're gonna find those robots for him? Slow down, Zila. Listen to my analysis first. It's a big job to steal two robots without anyone noticing, especially when one of them has an alarm. I'm guessing that our thief friend never even took little Faye. You mean... I think the thief knew that little Faye had an alarm, so they decided to break it. But they also knew that Cassidy could fix little Faye and use its tracker function to find Big Ben. The thief must have tossed the somewhere and only made off with Big Ben. Hey, why are you both looking at me like that? Say something. <laughs> so, you agree with my reasoning, right? So, you do have a brain somewhere in all that muscle. <laughs> I'm not just biceps and steel, you know. Well, if you all agree with what I said, let's go prove it. Missing drones are a bit of a regular occurrence down here. Come on, move those legs. Luca, do you often find stuff for other people? Seems like it. Kids always come to me when they lose stuff. <laughs> no wonder. Man, this area is so run down. I wouldn't want to live here. The people living here don't want to either. But they've got no other choice. We can change that, right? <sighs> yeah. Look, there's a drone over there. But how can we tell if it's the one Cassidy lost? 
Here, look. Someone deliberately scratched off the paintwork. <sighs> Didn't even do a good job of it. Oh, you're right. You've got a good eye, Zila. Whoever did it must have been in a hurry. We need to fix this little guy up. Can you lend a hand? again. Beep, bing. Little Fay, reinitialization complete. <laughs> we really found it. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Scanning for signal from Big Ben. Oh, listen. That must be the tracking system Cassidy mentioned. Signal not found. Big Ben is currently too far away from this unit. Tracking function must be enabled. It really does have a tracking function. Let's see how useful it is. Hey, it, it, it's flying away! Follow it! Look, that fellow over there is acting pretty shifty. He's got to be the thief we're looking for. Let's go and have a chat with him. Hey, friend. What? Who's there? A red ribbon? What? Wildfire? Huh. Uh, how did you... I'm doing just fine. <laughs> no monsters around here. Why don't you uh, go bother someone else? Shying away from honest work, indulging in petty crime. Of course you're doing just fine. Uh, I'm not sure this falls under petty crime, Zila. I have the whole row body he's got next to him. Yeah, it's Big Ben, all right. I, oh, oh, hold on a second. Who told you the name of this robot? Don't tell me it's... That's right, Cassidy sent us here. Hand over what you stole, or be prepared to face the fist of a champion. F -f -f fist of a champion, huh? <sighs> I've come this far. I won't be able to show my face around here if news gets out. Do your worst. Big Ben, let's get him. Going all the way, huh? <laughs> Enough talk then. Luca, let's get him. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Here, let me punch some sense into you. Snap out of it! This combat needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. Give it up. You're no match for us. I, I can't turn back now. You've got guts. Time to end this. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Small fry. <laughs> Spare me! Please! All of you! I, I shouldn't have stolen anything! I, I admit! Give me a second chance! <laughs> You're admitting defeat? What happened to all that bravado you had a few moments ago? The Multamerville Warrior. 
the peerless Boulder Champion! Upholding justice and peace once again! Nice! Our thieving friend surrendered, and Big Ben looks to be in one piece. The first step of the champion's training is complete. Huh? Why are you two so straight-faced? Can't you look a little happy? Yeah, I was gonna ask. What was all that supposed to be? No, oh, that? Nothing, just a slogan. Don't take it too seriously. Let's get Big Ben back to Cassidy. <sighs> Fine. Let's finish up here. But I'm gonna put it out there. We're not gonna forget those lines of yours anytime soon. Beep boop. Big Ben misses home. Big Ben wants to talk with Little Faye. Big Ben wants to play with Cassidy. Go home. Go home. I'm sorry, please. I've learned my lesson. I I've reset its systems. It won't attack you anymore. Just get it out of here. Take it back to its owner. Oh, it can't stay here anymore. What am I gonna do?